for the picture with Hadajar tracking him as they come to the first of the 18 fences. And Bashful Lad, just the leader at this one. Bashful Lad lands in the lead from Ambremont and Wilbereen. And Man Alive a faller there. Man Alive has gone at the first. John Joe O'Neill just getting up. Man Alive himself is all right. Coming to the second now, another plain one. And it's Wilbereen in the center. Bashful Lad right up uh, with them there on the inside is Double Jack. They're running down to the chair now. This is number 15 in the national and one of the most daunting fences, of course, on the course. And over on the far side, it's Staccato. Tilt Hammer Mill has been pulled up. Staccato on the far side. Double Jack in the center. Bashful Lad on the near side as they jump that one. And uh, a bad mistake there by Late Night Extra, but he gets away with it. Coming down to the water, Double Jack and Staccato with on the near side Bashful left and then Wilburine and Greenways and Ambermont. Then comes Hedajor and Fabulous as they jump the water and they're all safely over the water. Late Night Extra still jumping slowly and as they swing left-handed to pass the Grand National start, it's Double Jack with going wide, Bashful Lad on the outside, Staccato's on the inner being followed by Wilburine and Fabulous, then comes Ambermont, then comes Greenways, just in behind the Greenways is Staunton with John Frankham on the rails as usual, Artie Marbles on the outside, and as they run down towards the Melling Road, it's Staccato on the inside of Double Jack on the outer, on the very far side, Artie Marble with Bashful Lad and Wilburine then over to John Hanma. And Staccato and Wilburine. Then on the outside is Bashful Lad. Double Jack still right up with them. And this is the fifth. And Bashful Lad was over just in the lead from Artie Marvel. Double Jack. And then Fortinus Express not far behind them as they come to the sixth. And Artie Marvel landed just in the lead from Double Jack. Then on the Outside, Bashful Lad, Staccato on the near side as they come to the second open ditch and Artie Marvel from Staccato. And Clont Cormick has fallen there and he badly hampered Late Night Extra who cannoned into him. And as they go to the one after the ditch, it's Staccato in the lead and over to Julian Wilson. Yes, Staccato leads and Double Jack made a mistake there, nodded, but he's got away with it. Tipulino's tailed off at present and uh, Late Night Extra is way, way back as they come down to the one before beaches and Staccato still leads. Staccato over from Fabulous, Artie Marvel and Double Jack and a faller there was Staunton. John Frankham is on the floor, but all the others over as they come down to Beaches Brook with Staccato leading from Fabulous, Artie Marvel and Double Jack and Hadajar and Wilburine and Fortinas Express at Beaches Brook. And first to rise at Beaches is Staccato. And all the leaders are over Beaches. They're flowing over. And not a single faller at Beaches Brook. With the field led now by Artie Marvel on the outside of Staccato. Fabulous is behind that. And Double Jack then had a jar and Wilburine and Greenways as they jump the next. And all over the next. And the back marker still Tiepolino as they head for the canal turn. With Staccato on the inside of Artie Marvel. Fabulous third had a jar fourth. Then Double Jack and Wilburine and Greenways and Fortinas Express and Mark Pitt on West Euro as they jumped the canal turn and Hadajar made a small mistake and Bashful Lad made a mistake and Abramont made a bad mistake but they're all over it and face up to Valentine's Brook with Fabulous on the inside of Staccato and Artie Marvel on the outside then Greenways and Wilburine and behind that Hadajar then Double Jack and Fortinas Express as we rejoin John Hanmer. And Tiepolino last year's winner is a long way back as they come to the fifth last. Staccato led it from over it from Fabulous then Greenways Artie Marvel on the outside, then Wilburine points pass, then had a jar and Fortinas Express and Mr. Snugfit as they come to the last ditch, four from home, and Fabulous on the inside, Greenways is a faller, but all the others are over safely except for the back Marcus, and as they go to the third last, it's Staccato from Artie Marvel, and Tiepolino another faller, but Artie Marvel over first from Staccato, then Fabulous had a jar, Wilburine points pass, Captain Parkhill, and as they go across the Melling Road with two to jump, it's Artie Marvel from Staccato, then Hadajar, then Fabulous Wilburine at points pass as we join Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, it's Artie Marvel in the lead, just two fences left to jump, but a long way to run. Second is Staccato, then comes Fabulous, then Hadajar, who's still making very good progress. Just in behind them comes pa Captain Parkhill, who's beginning to get on terms with points pass also. Then Wilburine, and then Romany Count. And you can count the others out of it now, as they run down to the second last in this Kaltenberg Bills. Artie Marble from Staccato, still making ground is Captain Parkhill. Fabulous just in behind him, points pass delivering a challenge too, as they come to the second last fence now. 
Artie Marvel lands in the lead and very nearly gone there, Artie Marvel. Fabulous in the sheepskin nose van takes it us now as they come to the final fence. It's Fabulous in the lead now from Staccato, then Captain Park Hill, then Romany Count still making ground on the inside. Fabulous and Staccato, Staccato just the leader there. Staccato, Fabulous, and on the far side, Romany Count, Romany Count now with Fabulous, then Staccato, then Captain Park Hill, then Artie Marvel, these five as they race towards the elbow. It's Fabulous on the near side, on the left of the picture as we see them. On the right, it's Romany Count. Romany Count on the far side, they're inside the final furlong. Fabulous is next, then comes Artie Marvel and Staccato, and it's Fabulous and Romany Count as they race into the closing stages. Fabulous is holding Romany Count. Artie Marvel delivering a challenge again as they come to the line. Fabulous is going to hold them all in the line. Fabulous is the winner and Artie Marvel. Second and third is Romany Count. Four is Captain Park Hill in a photo with Staccato behind them. Uh, Wilburine and Mr. Snugfit and then Le the leader from the Elia. Bob's line and Noddy's ride. Slight mistake by Golden Friend at the first. And all Baltic now from Noddy's ride and Bob line. Bob's line as they come to the second. And all safely over it. Voice of progress over on the far rail. But all Baltic the leader from Noddy's ride. Voice of progress and Bob's line. Then Wealthy and the Elliot and Rock Saint and Golden Fred. They race to another plane fence. Orp Baltic from Noddy's Ride, Voice of Progress, Bob's Line, Wealthy. The earlier, this is the third. Rock Saint, the back marker. Swinging left-handed, uphill climb, Orp Baltic from Noddy's Ride, Voice of Progress, Wealthy and Bob's Line. Behind them, Golden Friend, the earlier, and Rock Saint. And going a real good clip in this 16th running of the arc. Orp Baltic from Noddy's Ride, Voice of Progress, Bob's Line, Mistake by Wealthy there. Then Golden Friend, the Elia and Rock Saint. Noddy's Ride going up on the inside there of Orp Baltic, Voice of Progress, third. At the next. Orp Baltic, a slight mistake there. Jumped a little bit right. Noddy's Ride going on now from Orp Baltic. Voice of Progress and Bob's Line as they come to the water. Number six, Noddy's Ride from Orp Baltic, Voice of Progress, Bob's Line, Wealthy. Then comes Golden Friend, the Elia and Rock Saint. First of the two ditches now, Noddy's Ride in the lead and a clear lead at the moment. Coming to another plain one, Noddy's Ride from Voice of Progress, Orp Baltic and Bob's Line at the eighth of the 12 fences in all. Noddy's Ride jumps it clear of Voice of Progress, Bob's Line goes third, Orp Baltic four, Golden Friend five. Racing towards the final ditch now, four from home and it's Noddy's Ride in the lead with now Bob's Line going second, Voice of Progress third, these three a long way clear of the remainder, the final ditch. Noddy's Ride jumps it well from Bob's Line second, third Voice of Progress and uh, Orp Baltica faller there. Orp Baltica bad mistake on Shipter's Pilot there so they're running downhill now with three fences left to jump in the 16th running of the Arkle Trophy and it's Noddy's Ride for England, Bob's Line for Ireland, Voice of Progress for England chasing these two and then a long gap to the Elia as they come down to the third last fence. Neil Darty now from Frank Berry then Peter Scudamore quite close on Voice of Progress as they come to the third last. And Noddy's Ride in the lead. Voice of Progress on the far side. Bob's Line on the near side. Racing towards the second last fence now. And it's Noddy's Ride from Voice of Progress and Bob's Line. Coming to the second last fence in the Argle. Noddy's Ride from Voice of Progress and Bob's Line. Noddy's Ride lands in the lead. Bob's Line second on the inside then voice of progress and here comes frank berry to try and challenge neil Doughty now as they come to the final obstacle in the arkle and it's not his ride on the far side bob's line on the near side bob's line with his white face showing just marginally in the lead on the near side neil Doughty on the far side on and there it was just bob's line from uh, not his ride as they race into the closing stages. It's Bob's line on the near side. Not his ride on the far side. Bob's line on the near side is going to win it. And this is another in the Arkle for Ireland. Bob's line is the winner of the Arkle. Second is not his ride. And third is Voice of Progress. Fourth will be the Elia. Fifth.